Hello, all my wonderful students out there. Welcome back to another fabulous video. Today we are going to be covering an idiom and that idiom is by the skin of your teeth. So I don't know about you guys, but the last time I checked, I don't think I had any skin on my teeth. And this idiom is kind of funny because that's literally what it means is that we don't have any skin on our teeth or if we do, it's microscopic and it's barely there. So the idiom holds that meaning, meaning that you barely or you narrowly escaped something or you narrowly achieved or did something. So in this idiom, you can change the pronoun. So you have to remember that. So I could say, by the skin of my teeth, by the skin of her teeth, by the skin of his teeth, by the skin of your teeth. So you can change the pronoun depending on who you're talking about or who it's directed to. Let's go through a couple of examples so you could see where you might use this idiom. Imagine that I wrote an exam and I received my results and my classmate said to me, hey, Jay, how did you do on your test? And I might say, I passed, but just by the skin of my teeth. So I use my because I'm owning up to the test of what I achieved and skin of my teeth, meaning that I just barely or narrowly passed the test. You can also use this idiom basically with any type of sport, action, adventure, something that was maybe a little bit dangerous or adventurous where you narrowly, barely escaped something or achieved something or did something. For example, imagine that I'm in a cave and there's some really, really small spaces and I'm a pretty big guy. And somebody might say, wow, how did you fit through the cave? And I could say, yeah, by the skin of my teeth, I made it through, meaning <laughs> There wasn't much space left for me. I, it was a tight squeeze. Both my back and my stomach were pressed up against the wall trying to make it through the very small and narrow spaces. Or imagine that a friend of yours is telling you a story. He went on a road trip. Uh, he ran out of gas or was running out of gas in his vehicle. And he just barely made it to a gas station to fill up his tank again. And I might say to him, ooh, sounds like you made it there by the skin of your teeth. Meaning, he, if he had to go any further, he wouldn't have made it to the gas station. So he barely, he narrowly made it there to the gas station. So hopefully these explanations or these examples uh, help you understand this one a little bit better. And this one's kind of fun. This one's fun to use. Uh, there's lots of instances where you could use it anytime you or your friends barely or narrowly do something. Uh, you can use this idiom. It's kind of fun. It makes people smile. All right. So hopefully you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye for now.